Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer courtesy of Pariah. Thank you so much for the package. And this is Catch Me Coastin. So uh, Catch Me Coastin is a West Coast IPA, uh, right? That's the name of the beer. Anyway, so blah, blah, blah. Really cool stuff, by the way, um, out of San Diego. It's actually Scott's in San Diego these days, so I do recommend um, him checking out Pariah. And he also, he's recommended Pure Project for me, even though I haven't read much from that, so pretty cool. But anyway, we're talking about Pariah here. 7% West Coast IPA, uh, Mosaic Citra, Simcoe, Amarillo, uh, Malter Pale. Really, not even crystal in that. Interesting. So, pretty. Yeah, it's very pale for a West Coast IPA. Actually, very curious what San Diego West Coast style IPA tastes these days. Uh, obviously, it's quite different from what it did in, you know, 2000 or 2005, 2010. So, anyway, <laughs> it's a West Coast beer, but uh, it doesn't really look like it. It really looks more like a uh, New England pale ale, right? Uh, comes in a light gold color. It's got this, like, beautiful lemony glow to it. Not completely uh, super hazy. Yeah, not completely opaque. It's like a medium to medium plus haze to it, but just, like, glowing out of glass. But, yeah, let's see how this uh, West Coast IPA goes. And aromatics. Smells quite nice, yeah. There's this really nice kind of, um, oh, I, forget, whoa, I forget what they described um, mosaic being like, but it's almost this kind of like chivey slash like herbal character that mosaic offers. Mm, this, is all, this, this one's all over the place. There's some like bright citrus peel in there. Almost get like some lychee as well. There's a little bit of like sweet, light biscuitiness, uh, biscuit biscuity quality. And yeah, that mosaic just sings throughout. It's that kind of like cantaloupe slash herbal thing that it offers. So the one thing about this beer is that it's quite dry. So it's definitely not as fat and uh, residually sweet as a New England IPA, but in general, it doesn't seem like it has that much bitterness. Um, instead of almost has just like, yeah, almost like a light, kind of like t tannic, but I guess just hop dryness to it along with the beer actually being quite dry. Brush up front, it's quite musky. It's got this like, I guess it's a mosaic. Um, and maybe Simcoe too, but it's just thick and heavy and dank. This one is um, almost tobacco-y, but yeah, I guess it's just dank. It's, it's just very dried herbally up front. It's got a lot of that dried herbal character up front. Not an oxidated way, just actually just dried herbs, yeah. It's got a little bit of tea thing to it too. The fruitiness is just not as strong as the aromatics. It really is not that fruity of a beer at all. As, as, as I talk, I take a little bit of that back. It's just got this like oily citrus thing riding in it, but it's just like heavy, dry, herbal, a little bit dank. Dry beer in general as well. The malts are, you know, it doesn't have that crystal malt sweetness that I associate with a lot of uh, West Coast style IPAs. It's, it's not bad, but I don't know. I feel like this, I mean, this beer is nicely hopped, but I feel like this kind of beer sort of tastes like what um, a lot of breweries do when they call New England IPA. Literally just had one tonight from a local brewery. And it's just like, you know, a highly attenuated beer that's like heavily hopped and they might've changed the yeast strain on it. And it just like doesn't make, you know, it's like people think it's just like, oh, you throw a lot of hops in it and there you go, you have a New England IPA. There's obviously a lot of craft that makes a New England IPA. I mean, a large majority of the beers that I have that are called New England IPA are actually pretty terrible. And again, it's about um, uh, crafting certain styles and just some styles are harder uh, than others. And New England IPA certainly is one of those, um, at least from the ones I've tried, at least if you're trying to make it in a certain way that I guess I like and some, pe some people like as well. But I just feel this dances in between lines of West Coast East uh, meets West, um, West Coast meets New England, maybe? I don't know. It's just a really dry, herbally kind of IPA. I don't know. Um, this one just doesn't quite, you know, zone in for me. Um, I can see where the West Coast part comes in because it's so dry. And then it also relies on the non-fruity parts of Mosaic and Simcoe. And I guess Citra and Amarillo too, but... It's certainly tasty, but for me, it gets an 85. Yeah, 85. Um, wow, this is beer dry. Okay. It's like thirst. It's like thirsting. Uh, um, uh, um, like you want to drink, almost like even water <laughs> compared to that. But anyway, eighty-five. Uh, catch me coasting. Uh, thank you so much, Brian. Until next time, guys.